Given the short turnaround to the second match, I thought we'd do a hybrid version of the preview. So, key battles. Nat Siva versus the Indian spinners. I think given that Nat Siva plays so powerfully off the back foot where she's able to access that cover point region, backward point, and even balls outside off, she's able to swat it in between the two deep fielders on the leg side, means that India can't afford just to take pace off and hang the ball out there because she's got that ability of picking up the length really well. Either she comes out full and tries to get it on the full and she can bomb it down the ground or she goes back really well. So I reckon the Indian spinners need to play around with coming over and around the wicket, but also more importantly, their pace and length. We didn't see too many Yorker deliveries. We didn't see arm ball from a, a Radha Yadav either. Do they have it in their armory? I guess we'll find out, but they've got to find a way of minimizing the damage of Nat Siva. Players to watch out for, I think Smitty Mandana has been the type of person that has shown us glimpses of what she can do. So I'm hoping for her sake and for Indian fans and the team that she's able to get going because India throughout this series has been struggling to find runs, consistent runs from their top order. And Smitty Mandana is a person that has shown us and gotten starts but just hasn't been able to capitalize. As for England, well, I mean, who do you turn to? So many players are, are stepping up, but probably the player to watch now is an Amy Jones. Did you see the six striking from her and just the follow through and extension of her, her swinging arc? Just so pleasant to watch. And, and maybe that innings will just reinforce that, yep, that's exactly where she belongs within this England setup for this format. So watch out Indian bowlers. I think you'll be having to take some Pauline Diol's type catches to ensure that you keep up with England. The playing 11 for India, I don't think they're gonna make any changes. However, I am concerned about Shafali Verma moving forward because I think now they've just gotten into her head. They could potentially drop her down the order and maybe bring someone up to open. Um, they could bring Indrani Roy in. And they've still got some options, but I do feel that they wanna give some some confidence back to the playing 11. Um, given the fact that it was a rain affected match, the batters didn't necessarily get an opportunity. So I think that they'll go in with the same 11. Maybe they could just change one of their spin bowlers to a Puja Vastrika, maybe, but I guess we'll find out. As for my prediction, I think in England are just too good. So it's gonna be hard work for India again.